Hey fellas, hello and welcome back to the second tutorial on this mini series on how to create a simple HTML form. But this tutorial here is about answering the question why use PHP and what is server side scripting? Why can't we use simple JavaScript to process and verify the input data we just took from the user? To begin with, let me show you a simple view of what the internet is like. Yep. Breaking it down, it is more or less these private devices. We have got PCs here, we have got laptops, Macs, private devices like Android and stuff. And these are all interconnected through web from here to here to here to here to here to everywhere. So now let's suppose we're sitting somewhere here. And we just created this awesome website which we want the whole world to see. Now obviously we have to keep all this website related resources and the STM file itself somewhere. And if that somewhere happens to be your personal computer, it's not going to help your privacy much. Because by doing that, you are voluntarily letting the world into your PC and access those resources. You know, you might well accidentally give them your private files too. You don't want that. And to be frank, it's not that safe. So what you do is take all this stuff and dump it on this cool guy server. Yep this happy guy here stores all this uh, resources all your website data and the world can now access it without you being at any secure risk how cool is that so suppose a user here this green guy wants to access the my page we just created and suppose we have placed it right here on the server now to access it what he does it type up the URL on the browser and hits enter so we have got just call it stuff dot something if it were something so so what this does is uh, it sends a request to the server here that dude i want to access this web page i want to see the website my friends told me about it it's pretty cool so the server is like okay dude go ahead and see this website it's cool stuff just access it now suppose the client here has to enter his username and password to log in to his id and he does that so far so good but now we have two choices on how to verify the input. We can either send the whole database of usernames and passwords from this server to this browser here and ask it to tally the user input with those the server just sent in. But this doesn't sound very secure, does it? You actually gave up all the sensitive data of all your users to a random user here on whose mercy the privacy of all of them lie now. You know, he can exploit that data and you definitely don't want that to happen. Your users are going to kill you. So this is where PHP jumps in, guys. Rather than asking the client-side browser here to verify the input, we actually take it all back to the server and verify it there. This way, we tally the data in a secure environment and on our own terms. This is what server-side scripting is. This is what PHP does. And now we can verify these details here on a good guy server and then reply the client accordingly. Wow, it's so awesome. But again, we have a second trouble and that is finding ourselves a server. But don't worry guys, for our simple website, you don't have to find and pay for one. All that you have to do is go to your browser and select your favorite search engine. Mine is Google, obviously, and type in this download vamp so but now guys you've got two choices you can either select the vamp server or you can go for xam server well these are both these both softwares guys are meant to convert your pc into an offline server you can also put it online but it will be offline so you don't have to worry about uh, privacy guys uh, without about privacy and uh, so just go ahead and click on this link the one that reads webserver.com slash n and this is the web server's website just go down and select the software that suits you for me it's going to be 64 bits windows and i will download it directly and yep my download will start shortly i'm not going to wait for you dude and once it's downloaded guys i want you to uh, install it and then it will appear on your start menu just search for ramp there you go, we've got start VAM server 64. Yep, there you go. So here you see an icon, guys. You just saw the W icon here, the VAM server. It reads VAM server, server offline. You want it offline, of course. 
sometimes says this icon is gonna be red and you gonna wanna have to wait for it to turn green it will turn green in three to five seconds and uh, you know once it's green it tells you that it's ready to work and now your PC has been turned into an offline server this is all we wanted and this is all for now guys because next time I'm going to teach you the basics of PHP because now we are ready with the server and then we can just manipulate the user input we just took from the forms. So see you next time guys. Bye bye.